स्टूडेंट आप कहेंगे फ्रॉम डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स आर आई फतेहगढ़ साहब पंजाब मोस्ट वेल ऑन टूडे ऑफ थर्ड डे ऑफ मॉडलिंग एंड इन मैंने अटल एक्चुअली टूडे ऑफ स्ट्रक्चरल इक्वेशन मॉडलिंग पार्टिकल एंड आवर डॉक्टर एडिटर एंड रिव्यूअर इन नंबर ऑफ वेल रिप्यूटेड जर्नल्स She has published several research paper chapters and books. Her area of research is international business and sustainable business models. And the most important is Dr. Nisha is having expert hand in research methodology and has been resource person in several research methodology workshops and FDPs. Lastly, I would like to wish thanks a million to organizers of this FDP for. Uh, providing this opportunity to the introduce uh, to introduce this speaker and i dr shivasto hand over the reins to speaker dr nisha over to you thank you so much dr akash shivasto uh, i am associated with jamia hamdard uh, since 2005 and as uh, Dr. Akash has already given my introduction. So my area is uh, international business and uh, sustainable development. Uh, today uh, I'll be taking a lecture on uh, PLSM, uh, partial least squares structural equation modeling. And since uh, uh, for last uh, I think two days, uh, this is the third day of the workshop. Last two days. Uh, Uh, this uh, topic, the structural equation modeling, and the related topics have been discussed with you. So I think most of the conceptual things are already discussed, and they are uh, like all the experts have explained them very well. So I don't think he, uh, the 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 things uh, I'll be uh, repeating them again, like your uh, reliability, validity. convergent or discriminant validity or reflective or uh, formative models so i have seen that this these all things have been explained and discussed by the experts before also so um, i'll uh, start with the, this pls sim hands on on pls sim uh, with smart pls so i think uh, all of you need to interrupt you yes uh, ma'am your voice properly audible uh, so we are fixing things okay for some time. yeah okay okay so i'm waiting for that uh, Actually, okay. that would be from your side. Actually, uh, we are not facing that Shikama, Doctor Shikama. We are not facing uh, echoes. Okay, by voices audible to everybody. Yes, yes ma'am. Ma you are perfect, perfectly audible. Okay, okay, son, continue. Okay, so the things uh, I think the the conceptual things have been already discussed by the previous speakers. Like I was telling you, uh, the 
all these things will be ex uh, used here and i'll explain them simultaneously when i'll be using the model so basically i'll start directly with the smart pls and i think all of you have downloaded the smart pls all of you have smart pls with you and the data file that i've shared with you so all of you should have that data file and the smart pls thing so i am starting this i am sharing my screen with you and if there if there is any problem you can always interrupt me you can always stop me in between and then uh, like you can ask questions okay so i'm sharing my screen and i uh, i want all of you to please open your smart pls is this visible to you all yeah. yes yes yeah. okay so this uh, screen you should open this screen so the code uh, coming to the smart pls the data file that i've shared with data uh, sorry file data file so you should file this is taken all of you yes ma'am okay so here we'll start with this please first click okay some name ma'am uh, sometimes uh, not uh, we are facing some to... voice in your end okay. yeah sometimes just changing my Actually, ma'am, it is not relevant. I think you are just a little bit far away from your phone, so it is just uh, not very. Okay. Am I audible? You are. You are. Yes, okay. ma'am. You are audible now. You can continue. Okay. so please open this page and again i am doing it click on new project give it some name for example i am giving it a name pls sem okay so you first thing is you need to click on new project and you need to give it a name this is pls sem and press okay okay so this on left hand side this pls sem is created okay so the next thing that you have to do is double click to import data okay i am repeating first thing i did was i clicked on new project i gave it a name then i clicked okay then this screen here you have this pls sem is created now double click to import data okay so wherever you have saved that file workshop 1 that i have uh, uh, given to you you need to click it click on it and then again okay is this clear till this point Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now this uh, above this workshop uh, PLS sim here, the model which is visible here, you need to click this model. Okay. So all the data which is there in that Excel worksheet, it is here. Okay. Under indicator. so before uh, i'll uh, 
come to this uh, structure equation. First, I'll discuss this data, what this data is all about. This is a question. So first, I'll show you items in my questionnaire. Okay, so this was the questionnaire. And since the these informations are not relevant, because these are the basic information about marital status, gender, education, qualification, everything. So we are more interested in this Likert scale. Here the questionnaire was to judge the entrepreneurial spirit, uh, spirit among women. And uh, uh, basically, uh, the rural women, uh, the, this questionnaire uh, was administered on rural uh, women in Lucknow. And uh, these women were um, like they they were uh, asked to join an NGO, and that NGO was actually uh, giving them training to um, uh, like the uh, involve so that they can involve themselves in uh, these women's in entrepreneurial activities, or to get loans from the banks or uh, MFIs. So um, after joining the these NGO. What are the changes that were experienced by the women? The question was uh, on that, whether their self-confidence level has increased, whether decision-making ability has increased or not, whether social awareness and participation has increased, whether skill uh, is developed um, in these women or not, and training and satisfaction as overall training and satisfaction has increased or not. So here you can see all the questions are on five-point scale. Likert scale. So confidence, decision making, social awareness, skill development, and training and satisfaction. Okay, so these are the things which were uh, measured with the help of this questionnaire. So the data is given, data is here, we have imported the data, and this data is here. So uh, uh, I think you all are aware of the, uh, the difference between reflective and um, formative constructs. So this PLS cell, smart PLS, on its default mode is on reflective. Uh, 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 that is there. Okay. So if you think you have some constructs which are formative, then you need to change it. Okay. So first we'll do a basic thing. I'll start with the reflective one. And then I'll include a uh, formative also here because I think some of my um, items are not reflective. So uh, just give you a brief idea about reflective and um, formative. Uh, because, although it has been discussed with you earlier also, but I'm just giving you a brief idea of these two things. Reflective items, mm -hmm. basically reflective uh, is the one where uh, your items, uh, uh, the items which are measuring your reflective construct, they are uh, highly correlated with each other. So for example, if I say stress, okay? So, uh, and items to measure stress is uh, maybe sleeplessness or um, uh, increased heart rate or uh, uh, restlessness, okay? Uneasiness. So all these things are highly correlated with each other and uh, they are uh, interchangeable also and if we miss out one thing that doesn't mean ki we are missing something great because maybe a, a high a heart rate uh, will be measured by uneasiness also okay so the ref in reflective constructs the items are highly correlated and if you drop one or two items then also your uh, things are not like affected but in formative constructs the items are not highly correlated Okay, so here, uh, because items are uh, in formative constructs, not highly correlated, like if I say um, uh, if of divorce or because uh, because uh, there okay. So these three I stress job loss accident, they are not highly correlated, all may be correlated because 
if uh, he, uh, there is a job loss, there uh, the, uh, it has no nothing to do with uh, it has nothing to do with your divorce. So if but if you drop one of the item, then that means you are missing out significant thing. So you cannot drop uh, your item in case of formative constraints. So here um, in this questionnaire, I'll use uh, one uh, formative construct, which is social awareness, because I believe key, the things that I am measuring here in social awareness, uh, they are not correlated because social participation uh, with social awareness, if you are aware about AIDS or schemes or these things or social evils, violence, okay? So this uh, construct, I believe, is more of formative in nature, while others are more of reflective because decision making, if overall decision making, key, if we talk about then uh, that means the decision making should be with respect to household expenditure, saving also with respect to uh, using of loan, with respect to child education, with, with respect to family problems and all. So let's see how other things will work here. So again, go to this. All of us have imported this, so I don't think there is any issue here. So now I am making a model. So what I'll do, I'll take two things first. First is confidence. Okay. So uh, click this first confidence, press a shift tab, and select these three items. Okay. And then drag and drop them here. Okay. Is this clear? So what I did, I have selected confidence. All the items which are measuring confidence, I have selected these items and I have dropped them here in this area. Okay. Second thing, because uh, social is something that I'll use for my uh, this format of one. So here uh, I'll then choose skill, skill, business skill, leadership skill risk taking skill okay financial skills selling skills okay these five things are there so again i have selected these five skills i have dragged them and dropped them here okay so these are the two of my independent variables and i want to see key with the increase in with the confidence and with the skill uh whether there is increase in overall satisfaction or not. So what I'll do, I'll now again select satisfaction. I will select all the items which are under satisfaction and I'll drag and drop them here. Okay. So what we'll do here we can align them also here you can see these alignment options are there you can align the here right or below also or left or upper side also but here this will look more proper now what i'll do i'll name these latent variables so this is satisfaction rename it P I S. F A C satisfaction. Okay. So this is satisfaction, and these items are measuring satisfaction. Then this latent variable is confidence. And this is skip. Is this fine? All of us has done this? Yes, ma'am. Okay, if I'm moving fast, then you can always interrupt me. You can always say, Ki, repeat the step or to go slow. Are we all together? Should I proceed? If you have done this? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Okay. Now, next thing that I'll do is 
I will connect it. Here you can see a connect button. You connect confidence with satisfaction and then skill with satisfaction. Okay. Once everything is in blue, then only you can run a model. If your this uh, this latent variables constructs if they are not in blue color, you cannot run the model. Okay. So now we have connected. These are my confidence and skill. These are my independent variables, and I want to check whether with confidence and skill there is increase in overall satisfaction or not okay so once this is all is in blue then only i can run a model so here uh, uh, this uh, thing like here uh, this uh, model that you have in front of you uh, this uh, is uh, this is this one is called as outer model where your uh, this independent vari variable uh, with item uh, the the relationship of independent variable with items this is called outer model and independent to dependent this the middle one is called as inner model okay so first thing that i'll do is first thing that i'll do is i'll check a measurement model i'll see whether my reliability my validity all are okay or not all are fine or not okay once i know ki yes reliability validity everything is within range within limit then only i'll move to structural model okay so what this we have now with us confidence skill are my dependent variables independent variables and my satisfaction is dependent variable. Now I'll run a model. So click here, calculate. First thing, because I am here interested in uh, measurement model and not structural model. So I'll go to PLS algorithm. Okay. I will choose factor here not path because I'm not interested in path right now. And I leave other settings as it is, which are default settings. I'll keep them as it is. And I'll press start calculation. Mm -hmm. Okay. All of, you, all of you have got this window? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Okay. So here, I am more interested in construct reliability and validity. And second thing is discriminant validity. Okay. So first thing that I'll check will be construct reliability and validity. So what is, what is construct reliability and validity? First is reliability. Reliability is can be measured with Cronbach alpha. But here, we will measure it with compose we see composite reliability okay although we should see uh, this cronback alpha alpha also but uh, cronback alpha uh, uh, but for uh, this uh, same pls same composite reliability should be taken into consideration because uh, number of time cronback alpha may underestimate your reliability because Cronback Alpha's values, Jyoti, and these values, they are uh, based on uh, the fact that each and every items, like here, all the items, like here we have different values for each items, na, but Cronback Alpha estimates them as uh, same. Okay, so if your values are very different, then your Cronback Alpha and composite reliability will differ largely. So, uh, so that is the reason ki we look for composite reliability um, and Cronbeck Alpha sometimes underestimates your reliability value. So composite reliability here, uh, let me tell you what is the 
appropriate value. So here for a rule of thumb for evaluating uh, reflective models may internal consistency reliability if you are checking your composite reliability should be higher than 0 0.70 okay and consider Cronbach alpha as the lower bound and composite reliability as the upper bound of internal consistency reliability so everything is okay here second thing is your uh, so reliability is measured reliability is basically consistency okay if you use this scale this uh, scale uh, number of times you will get same result like if you talk about um, example of reliability can be you can relate it with the like weighing scale so if you measure your weight and uh, you get consistent weight so that means your weighing scale is good so that is what we uh, 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 is the meaning of reliability so if we are saying ki my questionnaire is your my the scale is reliable uh, my question is this uh, reliability i'm achieving the reliability then that means we uh, it can give same uh, result uh, if we keep on repeating the test so that is basically reliability second is your validity validity may we have two types of validity one is your as uh, called as convergent validity and the another one is discriminant validity so convergent validity is uh, achieved if we have this values within range which is average variance extracted okay so average variance extracted if it is within range then we will say we have achieved convergent validity and what is convergent validity if we go back to our model this model you can see these are the items and you know, confidence to measure confidence we have three items so whether these items are actually measuring the confidence, they are converging to uh, uh, explain confidence. So convergent validity is achieved for confidence for scale also, which means these items are actually measuring, are able to measure scale and for satisfaction also. So whether they are converging to explain this, uh, latent variable these all uh, items which are under skills whether they are converging together to explain this and these all satisfaction items which are under satisfaction whether they are able to um, they, they are converging and they are able to explain this so this is our convergent validity and uh, for convergent validity what is the value so here the indicators outer loading should be higher than 0 0.70 indicators with outer loading between 0 0.40 and 0 0.70 should be considered for removal only if the deletion leads to an increase in composite reliability and av above above the suggested threshold value okay so here we can see some of the outer loadings are between 0 0.40 and 0 0.70 also Okay. So here, some of the loadings, these are the loadings. You know? So there are these, uh, this loading, for example, 0.547, it is below 0.7. And here also you can see this one and this uh, 0 0.670. This is also below 0 0.70. If some of the loadings are below 0 0.70, and they are between 0 0.40 and 0 0.70 then we should see if we will drop these items then whether it will increase my average variance extracted or not but here why i am not dropping these values because if we go here uh, sorry here we'll see that ki i have already achieved the ave okay i have already achieved it so if uh, if this value is below 0.5 then i should see ki whether uh, under skill mm -hmm. like this value 0 0.540 if i drop this value then my ave is more than 0.5 or not okay but why i am not doing this because i've already achieved the threshold value okay so these are the um, outer loadings 
out of loadings which are there in pa and it is given here also out of loadings which is this only confidence skill and satisfaction so this outer loading is given here also if you click here outer loadings you will find these loadings and here you can see the loadings which are below 0.7 they are highlighted in red so you should consider ki whether should keep them or to drop them but i for this kind of model i'll say ki we should keep them because here uh, we are not facing a convergent validity problem but if you are facing convergent validity problem then in that case you can drop okay like this value you can select it you can select it from here right click and if you click here you will drop this value and then again you should run the model to see if my convergent validity is achieved or not is this okay yes ma'am okay so we have explained construct reliability and validity few items have lower outer loading but still we are keeping them because we are not facing as such uh issues with convergent reliability okay so average variance extracted is used to measure convergent reliability and cronbach alpha and composite reliability are for uh internal consistency and this value rho should be in between cronbach alpha and composite reliability if it is not in between then it will be highlighted in red but it is all all green which means all okay and we can move further so as far as this in, uh, reliability construct reliability and convergent validity is concerned it is okay now next thing that we will check here is your discriminant validity okay so click on discriminant validity with validity which is just below your construct reliability and validity okay so if you click discriminant validity you will find first thing is forner and laker criterion okay forner and laker criterion so what is this what are these values so for example if i copy them and i paste them in excel okay this is forner and laker laker criterion and these are the values how to interpret these values so this value 0.867 0.78 and 0.749 what are these values these values are square root of average variance extracted okay we'll go back to our model and this value 0.752 okay so if you uh, like this 0.752 ave square root of ave is this value okay so this forner and like laker criteria says ki square root of this value sorry square root of ave which is this value it should be more than the correlation with the other factors so this ave confidence ka jo ave ka square root hai okay this 0.75 to square root this 0.752 will square root this function uh, 0.86 sorry okay so you'll get the ave so this square root of ave which is for this is for confidence uh, this is the square root of ave for sat, uh, satisfaction and this is the square root for ave for skill this should be more than the correlation value 
so this uh, this one this 0.867 is the correlation between satisfaction and confidence 0.867 is the correlation between confidence and skill and 0.313 is the correlation between sorry it's not 0.867 um exact value yes, sir. Uh, this was the value 0.442 and 0.695 okay so this value this is the uh, correlation value of satisfaction and confidence 0.442 this is the Correlation value of skill and confidence 0.695, and this is the correlation value of satisfaction and skill, which is 0.313. So Farner and Laffer criteria says that if your square root of uh, AV, which is average variance extracted, it is more than correlation with any other, uh, like a correlation of one construct with any other construct. If it is more than that, then you should uh, consider it to be valid okay so here we can see all these three values the square root of average variance extracted all these three values which are highlighted here they are more than the correlation of one with the other satisfaction with confidence skill with confidence and skill with satisfaction so we can say e discriminant validity is achieved okay so this is the first thing, Farner and Farnell and Larker criterion. Second thing is your cross loadings. This is also used to uh, measure your discriminant validity. Okay. So what does this say? Again, if I copy it and paste it in Excel, this is the second thing I'm talking about. validity only and right now we are talking about discriminant validity and what does discriminant validity says it says ki your uh, construct should be different from other constructs for example if i am measuring something under skill if i'm measuring it should be different from confidence and confidence should be different from satisfaction okay okay skill wale do alag se aage niche skill I'll keep all together. Okay. So this is the loading. Okay. Cross loadings. Cross loading means key uh, this particular item which is meant for confidence. It is also loaded on satisfaction. It is also loaded on skill. And I have seen key what is the value here okay so here we can see confidence these are the three values confidence we can highlight it here okay for satisfaction these are the values and for skill these are the values. Okay, so what does cross loading says? Cross loading says key this should be this loading, these loading should load better in their parent construct than any other construct. Okay. So here we can see key we have used uh, confidence in communication for confidence. So this if I am loading it on satisfaction or if I'm loading it on skill. It should not load better there, but it should load better in its parent construct. So here we can see the values which are given for confidence in its parent construct. It is like all the items values in its parent construct. It is more than any other construct. Okay. Similarly, if we see the value for satisfaction. So here we can see all the values which are here mm -hmm. they are loading better in their parent construct than any other construct whether it's a confidence or it's a skill so it is not loading 
better in this construct, but it is loading very well in its parents construct. Similarly, for scale also, we can see the loadings which are here, they are loading better in their parent construct than any other construct. So this says that ki if the loadings are loading better in their parent construct, then this means that ki discriminant validity is achieved because they are not loading anywhere else. And plus at the same time, this also says ki you should see, ki for example here, I can see ki although this value is 0 0.838, but this on skill, this confidence in communication under skill also it is loading um, because uh, 0 0.609 is not a, a small loading. It's not a very bad loading. You know? So it is there. But then uh, what we should uh, see basically here, ki the difference between these two should be at least one. If it is less than one, then we should drop this or we should again rephrase the or look into this particular thing okay so here because the difference with this the satisfaction or with the skill is more than one so we can say ki, yes it is loading very well here here also 0.911 so difference is very much more than one with either satisfaction or the skill so we'll take this for this also we can see the difference is much much more than one Okay. Similarly, with others also, we can see there is no hidden satisfaction. Nothing is uh, there. We can say ki it is loading better in other constructs. Here also, we can see all the loadings are the differences more uh, uh, always more than one. Is this clear? How we interpret this? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So uh, we have done Forner and Locker criterion for discriminant validity. Second is we have done this cross loading for discriminant validity. Third thing is your hetero trait mono trait ratio. Okay. Hetero trait mono trait ratio. This is a new uh, thing which is introduced here, and it says that uh, this uh, this ratio is the correlation basically correlation matrix we create and then we um, uh, like uh, take out the ratio correlation ratio hetero trait and mono trait ratios we compute and it says that this ratio should be less than 0.85 if it is less than 0.85 then uh, we uh, we say the discriminant validity is achieved okay and uh, uh, many of the studies say ki this is the uh, this HTMT uh, hetero trait mono trait ratio is better than Farner uh, Farner and Locker criteria and cross loading for checking discriminant validity in your PLS. And why? Because uh, hetero trait mono trait ratio uh, takes care take cares of your uh, 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 type 1 and type 2 error, which is also uh, sensitivity or specificity. Uh, specificity. So if you all are aware of type 1 and type 2 error, uh, what is type 1 and type 2 error, then uh, uh, you can understand ki, uh, uh, like ki, uh, one of the research paper, uh, recent research paper that I was studying, it says ki cross loading uh, in cross loading, uh, this uh, uh, type one and type two error, or you can say that uh, when you when we are writing a research paper, we uh, use the term sensitivity and specificity. Uh, specificity. So sensitivity and specificity is uh, not at all achieved when we use cross loading. Okay, when we use cross loading, although here it is indicating that key where your um, item is uh, loading better. Okay, and it should load better in parent construct. So it is well and good, but it is not taking care of your type one or type two error or sensitivity and specificity. And uh, as far as this foreigner and locker criterion concerned, it uh, just take care of 20.82% of your sensitivity and specificity. Yeah, type one or type two error, uh, type one or type two error should not be there in your research. 
But this uh, HTMT, heterotrate monotrate ratio, this one, the last one, it takes care of both. Both 99% to sensitivity and 97% to specificity. Which is specificity is type 1 error and sensitivity is uh, type 2 error. The same true positive and true negatives we get there. Uh, so uh, this HTMT take care of that. So I think type 1 error and type 2 error, is there a need to explain type 1 and type 2 error? You all are aware of it? Ma'am, we are aware of it, but if you can just explain in brief once okay. again. Okay, okay. I'll just show you a PPT so that you can understand uh, type of this one, type 1 and type 2 error. So... Uh, Type 1, uh, uh, when you design a hypothesis, okay, and uh, the, your uh, hypothesis, uh, null hypothesis is true, and the test, when you conducted a test, and your test also says that your null hypothesis is true, then you take a correct decision, okay? So no problem with it. Because when your test results are saying I think you are alpha then we uh value is true. So what you are doing one error think a type of error that you can come Commit your null hypothesis, but true. Okay, so error. So that is a type two error. So is the sensitivity of a test is a specific specificity. If you are doing this mistake or a type two error, then in Uh, it's a big so this thing uh, this HTMT hetero trade mono trade ratio it take care of this specificity as well as sensitivity okay so uh, if your hypothesis was true and your test result is making it false okay type 2 error if your hypothesis was false but your test result is saying that it is true it is not going in a rejection region okay we make normal distribution ban alpha ki value rakte and then we say ki okay it is going in rejection region null hypothesis so we reject the hypothesis but if it is not true then in that case uh, you are committing a mistake so this HTMT take care of specificity specificity which is type one error and sensitivity which is type two error okay is this clear yes okay so now seen and so good thanks so seen key validity on uh, for things uh, yeah foreign rocket card maybe he should be more so to achieve this Including me, we have seen that all the uh, loading better in the and yes, it is loading better in the parent construct plus the other than one. Uh, sorry, that second third thing is here. and this is also five. We can say that. Okay, to our model. So this was a model. So we have seen that yes, measurement. There is no problem. Okay. Small Now the net I'll do uh, will be. Okay, I have this click this wrapping. Okay. And
interested in plus plus b identifying that all of you have got this result yes yes ma'am if there's any problem you can always see. okay ma'am could you please repeat the step back okay deleting this tapping okay setup may uh, basic bootstrap pe hoga keep it complete bootstrapping here yeah. two tailed hona chahiye 0.05 value which is default setting it is all fine partial least square mein we are interested in path now okay so you need to click path is this fine yes ma'am okay then next is start calculation So you got this file? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So here, what we are seeing here, there are two paths. First is your confidence to satisfaction, and second is your skill to satisfaction. Here you can also see confidence to satisfaction and skill to satisfaction. Okay, so these are two, and if we look, it's a given strapping. So here, so we are more interested and p values, pick and select values. So there, first is your con, second is your skill to satisfy. Option p value. Uh, seconds level. Get the value should be more than one point nine as the cutoff. Value should be more than one point nine. Path. The value is six. And at a signal is this on dependent is this dependent this this is the R value twenty only with the R square value but with the discussed so on confidence but the skill to satisfaction is not in scheme maybe not uh, on to that so confidence is contributing is not satisfaction so that is this the outer loading is also So these are the outer loadings are format. It's required for this. See that this significant one is. So if you use, this is for where you the confidence that can positive that it is happening. This is 
in this alternate but if we say key scale positive as fashion so that is say so this is one so i who is uh what uh, so maybe some uh, like if i i say ki skill is is fashion if i effect and point your satisfaction uh, where uh, you use um, some skills and it do a confidence and confidence has increased let's see this uh, confidence will work so do ki we this is all they have acquired some skills with the ngos and and uh, they got and they learn so many skills. That has led to increase in confidence and that consciously mm -hmm. satisfaction mm -hmm. मैडम यू आर ऑन म्यूट सो सेइंग की नाउ मेकिंग नॉट बूट स्ट्रेस देयर नथिंग इन जेप सो what i'll do i'll then okay so here you can see the path is significant okay so what we have from here that this confidence is actually a mediator skill and satisfaction this model where we got is as to depend in satisfaction as now what is a uh, 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 it, uh, particular you can see if so these both the values of t value below 1 and a 1.96 so here is say significant all this 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 in in uh, between skill and satisfaction is clear yes ma'am yes uh, we have any doubt like keep um, um, modulative model so it features and you want to check you want to do the speed 
what is the procedure this is the this uh, natural and measurement if you Mm -hmm. I have a, question, a theoretical question. Uh, uh, a model. So structure was that. Uh, the, uh, this or not okay whether the items that i whether these i tell uh valid or okay the question uh reliable plus scale to uh, to, uh, to repeat Yes, these items in confidence. Uh, establish this thing. So, the, once you establish this key, measuring, measuring, satisfaction, my form skill. All the items here are different from these items. These items are different from these items. So we'll say that key, this is a measurement model where we have established this. Once we establish this, then we go to a structural model. Ki acha path up significant hai ki nahi. Then we see. Okay. Next, we know that in Although this uh, uh, this um, fault mode is on our adding form uh, in that so you need to change key. Uh, These are computing uh, skills in uh, attending who uh, are aware of the question. Um, So, the people are recognizing you. This means IT, very scheme, violence. So, you are civil, um, and you resist. These are all actually in participant, but at the same time, um, they related to. We cannot say that key. There will be high correlation items. So what? Uh, again, the social one. I'll keep it as formatted. Not a see um, your okay, items in active, then you can do it from here. Okay, what I did. I right click 
Yeah. And also, you can feel like if I but the formative model size it to The confidence thing is this VIFI. And you and about major of the uh, but uh, full. So this VIF value is in five. Otherwise, negative then indicate is higher order for social views are below keep the so value if there is no need to eliminate indicate and we can keep this before we uh, need to eliminate by examining if of the construct using relative the correlation between the construct should be 0 0.70 or analysis so uh, it to social social factors are there social factors you can also see Okay. So this, uh, what I'll do, I'll do a redundancy analysis. So redundancy analysis kya hota hai ki basically, jo aapka this formative uh, construct hai. Formative construct ko hum uh, construct ke saath dekhte hain. Ya fir hum uh, jo, uh, jo angle global to dekho that of designing your view that um, not to put a single item question in my questionnaire so I'll check redundancy other reflective construct but uh, confidence check that I can see कि है कि आप जब क्वेश्चनर डिजाइन कर रहे हो तो हां आई को डालना चाहिए जिससे फिर जैसे सोशल लेवल अलग से डाल दूं कि सोशल लेवल यू आर गेट द आंसर So what I do, I convert 
alternative mixture of the conjugates or group single item. Because I do not have a global single item, so what I'll do, I'll check it with better to do. Construct so, 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 other path more analysis. Okay, is this clear? Joe Kia did. Yes. Okay, so what I will do, I need to check to a redundancy analysis. So, um, factors. I'll which is confident. Again, you can align uh, so this lens Again, I go to Ayurveda. I go to a formative. So, the thing is, I am doing a first read and then check. The value rule of thumb says that examining its reflective majors or the global single light. The Now we'll go back to this model. It for convert. We have also this study of indicators where we have seen that VIF value was not more than and we have done red. So we have also this as we check. And because we have done a path we have done, done this so the measurement that I will do is now I will run a path a structural model what I will do bootstrapping ok here Mm -hmm. I'll increase the size of my samples. Okay, basic bootstrapping base for the and uh, percentile for the Okay. 
changes. And your the next is path picker. Okay. Then we will. So in that mode. Okay. Two things. So two things I'll out again. So Social networking again. Well, I'm out of reach. Sorry. Yeah. This social event. And these. All value significant. Rule of thumb says it says examine each indicator and out. Indicate then what I'll do, I'll look for outer loadings and outer loading may to better than loading may point five se above hai. sorry, outer loadings. So what I'll do, I'll keep an indicator where it is evidence to support the in the indicator. You should keep an indicator where it is significant. The indicator should generally be two cases significant. But my is it is up tall. Means I should focus on thing is low. Then you should have indicator from the model. That's why model. See. It tha problem kar raha Here's two cases. When we can see ki also there and hi in all the cases. The, the can have a problem. Also, yes. So this is how we can construct. If so, uh, we did reflective. We and uh, okay uh, was acting 
as a use which means the Adlin con this action. Okay. The contributing the quantum uh, brain in the building factors are like then um, building confidence among rural women uh, in the, uh, Lucknow and uh, this thing as uh, a mediator uh, and satisfaction and social okay so, so this is how we do reflect um, uh, analysis. Next, so this of the papers you will key uh, are reported. Uh, where uh, uh, if format told you, I have uh, shown you also the if format. Then we do our the. NC analysis, we look for collinear uh, where we are uh, seeing whether it is not, then we look for outer weights or not, and uh, then we look and 0.5, then we will, um, sorry, that uh, formative model, uh, reflective model. We check for internal for conback alpha and the indicators reliability where uh, uh, conversion validity may be and discriminant validity may be looked for criterion uh, cross loadings and HTMT. Most of the paper you will think are given. On that basis, they say model is model mm -hmm. is um, uh, your your model your contributing like a contributing to a power uh, in your model. The I'll plus that will be the resource one. Uh, the next report will discuss the model. So, um, this non linearity or what is end of. First, we'll see what is non-linear. Um, in a model, or uh, here, it is assumed there is a linear relationship. Okay, linear relationship is uh, uh, with the change in one, uh, when change in thunder will be. Uh, this is a linear uh, one. Uh, so, okay. So, but at a right line. So, check. But line is not straight. Change in one can change in under construct. There may be uh, increase or decrease. Okay. That the change may increase. And some point of time, but uh, later on it may decrease. Just like speed ka karte hai, distance travel by time taken. But uh, simple example that distance travel by time taken. So distance, other speed is constant. Then the, you will get the linear relationship between distance and time. Speed will vary. Change will not be linear. So it down. 
so similar in our um, uh, model also in plsm the relationship is linear but uh, the relationship might not be linear so when the relationship between uh, two constructs is non linear the size of the effect between two constructs not only depends on the magnitude of the construct or magnitude of the change in exogenous construct but also on its value so jo hamara exogenous construct hota hai agar jo hamara agar linear linear relationship nahi hoga to jo hamara exogenous construct hoga uski sirf value mein change nahi hoga but ki uske magnitude mein bhi change ho sakta hai to jaise hamare is model mein हमारा एक्सोजेनस कंस्ट्रक्ट डिस्कस हुआ होगा व्हाट आर एंडोजेनस कंस्ट्रक्ट्स एंड व्हाट आर एक्सोजेनस कंस्ट्रक्ट्स सो बेसिकली एक्सोजेनस कंस्ट्रक्ट को समटाइम्स वी वी इंटरचेंजेबली यूज एक्सोजेनस कंस्ट्रक्ट विद योर डिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल एंड एंडोजेनस कंस्ट्रक्ट सॉरी दिस एंडोजेनस इज योर डिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल एंड एक्सोजेनस इज योर इंडिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल but a basic definition of endogenous and exogenous is endogenous uh, the value of endogenous is dependent upon the exogenous construct but the value of exogenous, exogenous is not found on other exogenous construct may be some external factor so that is this construct so here we have satisfaction as an endogenous construct okay factor skills or Uh, for um, satisfaction confidence is also endogenous for confidence social factors and skills are exogenous factors so here we uh, if in order to check the whether the re relationship is linear or not because that is also important so when you are um, writing a paper and for example aapne itna achieve kar liya and you are saying ki okay my model is perfect uh, i have achieved reliability i have achieved uh, कन्वर्जन वैलिडिटी डिस्क्रिमिनेंट वैलिडिटी एंड देन उसके बाद मैंने चेक कर लिया पाथ भी चेक कर लिया फिर मैंने टी वैल्यूज एंड सिग्निफिकेंस लेवल भी देख लिया ओके एंड नाउ दिस मॉडल आई फ्रेम दिस मॉडल ओके एंड दिस इज अ परफेक्ट मॉडल ओके सो उसके सिवा भी आप चेक कर सकते हो कि वेदर द रिलेशनशिप इज लीनियर और नॉट so to check for linearity what we can do uh, in smart pls what we can do so here select satisfaction you need to add a quadratic effect to check for linearity because it will uh, tell you ki whether your model is a robust model or not so you should check for linearity you should check for endogeneity and heterogeneity also so first thing is we are checking for linearity okay is this clear linearity kya hota hai linear yes ma'am yes ma'am so ab linearity agar check karna hai so how you will do it you will click here on satisfaction right click add quadratic effect okay quadratic effects are non linear effect so hum dekhna cha rahe hain ki non non linear effect hai isme ki nahi hai okay so here i'll add an independent variable and for satisfaction there is just one independent variable which is confidence so you can here calculation method teenon mein se koi bhi choose kar sakte ho mostly used jo hota hai wo two stage hai two stage mein hum kya karte hain basically first is अगेन पहले हम अपना मेजर मेजरमेंट मॉडल स्टैब्लिश करते हैं फिर उससे निकालते हैं कॉन्स्ट्रक्ट एंड देन विल मेजर की वेदर लेटेंट सॉरी लीनियरिटी इशू इज देयर और नॉट वाइल इन केस ऑफ ऑर्थोगनलाइजेशन अगर हम ऑर्थोगनलाइजेशन करेंगे तो हम हम बेसिकली ये करते हैं कि हमारा जो भी जितने और इंडिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल है उनका कुछ इफेक्ट जो है मिनिमाइज हम कर सकते हैं तो देन इन दैट केस वी यूज ऑर्थोगनलाइजेशन बेसिकली ऑर्थोगनलाइजेशन में हम एक एक करके करते हैं जबकि टू स्टेज में हम सारे उसको कर लेंगे तो वी आर चूजिंग हेयर टू स्टेज ओके टू स्टेज करो और इसमें स्टैंडर्डाइज है ऑटोमेटिक है दिस इज ऑल ओके एंड देन क्लिक ओके तो ये हमारा एक क्वाड्रेटिक इफेक्ट वन ये आ गया इसको रीनेम कर लो हेयर वी कैन एड दिस इज अ कॉन्फिडेंस
Okay. So this is confidence. So we have added a quadratic effect here. Now for confidence also, I'll add a con uh, quadratic effect if this relationship be linear hai ki nahi hai. Again, I'll add a quadratic effect for confidence. Uh, this is skill. So I'll choose a skill and then okay. We'll rename this quadratic effect. Skill. And then we will also add for social factors. Add quadratic effect and then independent variable we will have social factor. And okay. Is this clear? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so we added three. Now, how to check for non linearity? So, what I will do again, I will go to calculate bootstrapping. We will have 10,000. Okay, basic bootstrapping is okay, and then percentile bootstrapping. And then we'll start calculation. So this is uh, what it is doing. It is al actually calculating for a uh, whether there is a non-linear effect or no. So quadratic means if uh, the value is significant. So this means that quadratic uh, effect uh, is not there. Okay, so what I want, I want ki quadratic effect hoga agar value uh, significant hogi. So I don't want ki significant value should be there. I want non-significant values. Kyu quadratic effect ka hi matlab hua ki uh, relationship is not linear. Lekin hume chahiye linear relationship. Okay, so here we can see hmm, the values. Okay, so quadratic. Uh, this is confidence this is quadratic effect with confidence this is satisfaction ke saath hai, and this is with skill ke saath hai. So all the values are non-significant okay so we want uh, insignificant values only here because uh, quadratic effect uh, agar significant ho gaya to iska matlab ye hua ki relationship is non-linear lekin kyunki hume linear relationship chahiye to hum chahte hain ki ye quadratic effect jo ho ye significant nahi hai Okay, so because here we are saying that all the three quadratic effects are non-significant, so which means the relationship is linear. Is this clear? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so because here you can see the values. Value is 0 0.783, 0 0.536 and 0 0.947. All are below 1.96. So quadratic effect is um, not there, which means there is a linear relationship between the um, satisfaction and confidence, confidence in skill, and confidence and social factor. Okay. Apart from that, we should also run for f square. Okay. For uh, to know this um, non-linear um, whether a relationship is linear or not. This will eight things or hum run karte hai, which is f square. PLS algorithm run We look for f square value okay and what is uh, the value here so if we look here so f square, f square jo value hai, uh, it should be uh, bahut, uh, quadratic effect is very small so it, it will be less than 0 0.005 uh, it is medium for 0 0.010 and large effect at 0 0.025 but it is not significant and the effect is also very small. You can see here, it is less than 0 0.005. This is also less than 0 0.005. And this is, although more than 0 0.005, but less than 0 0.005. So it is insignificant. And the values are insignificant, plus the effect is also very low. So the effect is actually dependent on the value only. So here you will see, uh, sorry, here you will see 
द वैल्यू स्किल वाली जो वैल्यू है ये माइनस में है तो यहाँ पे इफेक्ट सबसे कम होगा उसके बाद कॉन्फिडेंस में जो इससे थोड़ी ज्यादा वैल्यू है तो इसमें इफेक्ट थोड़ा सा ज्यादा है एंड देन इसमें पॉइंट जीरो नाइन थ्री है कॉन्ड्रेटिक इफेक्ट इसमें सबसे ज्यादा है तो बेसिकली दिस दिस विल टेल यू कि वेदर द रिलेशनशिप इज लीनियर सॉरी हाँ लीनियर और नॉट ओके then next thing is is this clear linearity any yes, question kisi ka koi question hai is there any question i don't think ma'am please continue okay okay so the next thing is endogeneity endogeneity what is endogeneity so this basically endogeneity is when your independent variable is correlated with the error term of your dependent variable okay so like here in my model in my model this is my dependent variable and if i say ki uh, if i am saying ki okay uh, this uh, dependent variable is explained by this confidence as independent variable but maybe Uh, like it is not able to explain completely there is some it is related to some error term okay so maybe satisfaction is not at all like completely dependent on confidence but there are other things also on which satisfaction is dependent so that is called as the endogeneity okay the problem of endogeneity where may i endogenous variable ka jo ye jo jo path bana hai this is not able to explain the uh, the uh, the thing completely okay so these are my exogenous variables similarly similarly for confidence also ki confidence may be uh, it's their social factor and so these are two exogenous variables so whether they are able to explain the confidence completely or it is related to some other uh, error terms also so that is your problem of endogeneity so when your independent variable is correlated with error term of your dependent variable uh, then mm, the problem of endogeneity is there often needs to be addressed when trying to establish causality does a really cause b or is or something else really cause a okay kabhi kabhi kya hota hai ki mutual bhi hota hai ki a is causing b and b is causing a so to hum endogenous and exogenous mein then uh, we find uh, uh, it's very problematic which one is endogenous and which one is exogenous okay so mutually they are affecting each other so what causes endogeneity uh, maybe some omitted variable is there an important variable is missing from your model that is the true predictor of dependent variable okay so basically jab aapke model mein koi ek aisa variable miss hai jo ki actual mein uh, jisko define karna tha aapke dependent variable ko but it is missing from your model and you are measuring a model by putting uh, some uh, independent variables jo ki usko pura measure nahi kar pa rahe so if some uh, other uh, variables are missing from your model then it will also cause the problem of endogeneity the omitted variable is correlated with both the independent and dependent variable so ye bhi ho sakta hai ki jo omitted variable hai wo independent variable ko bhi affect kar raha hai and dependent variable ko bhi affect kar raha hai okay so that is the problem of endogeneity for example um, if uh, i am saying ki performance in games is dependent on attendance of practices okay jo bacche jitna zyada practice karte hain unka utna acha performance hoga games mein okay so that is uh, that is something that i assume ki performance in games uh, will be more if the attendance in practices is more so those who are not attending uh, the practice uh, their performance will be very low but why the people are not attending or not coming for practice may be distance from the ball field so jo uh, jo practice sessions ho rahe hain wo bahut dur mein ho rahe hain is wajah se aa nahi pa rahe hain log to isliye unka and you are when you, when you are um, you want to know ki why performance in games is, games is low so you are saying it because people are not coming for practices but you are not looking at this thing ki the performance in games is low because the the this uh, practice sessions are uh, from uh, a very far distance from the the residents or the 
place of residence of the uh, students. So that may be the missing variable from your model. So you need to add it, then only you can complete it. Otherwise, you will not be able to uh, actually address this issue of performance in games. So that is the problem of endogeneity. So how to tackle with this problem of endogeneity? Okay. So if I am saying that I am measuring a satisfaction, okay, and I am measuring a satisfaction with this confidence, and confidence ko again is affected by, sorry, skill and um, social factors. Okay. So if I say that confidence jo hai, wo social factor or skill per dependent. Hai. Okay. And I am measuring confidence, uh, sorry, satisfaction with confidence. Okay. So if I have to know whether there is a problem of endogeneity or not. Or endogeneity ki problem will be what will happen? If there is a problem of endogeneity in this model, then what will happen? All the independent variables will not be able to explain. Na, endogenous uh, variable ko explain nahi kar paenge, jitne bhi exogenous variables honge. So there are some missing variables from my model. Or kisi aur cheez pe bhi dependent hai satisfaction jo ki maine cover nahi kiya hai. Okay, okay R square, R square value would be less. Yes, R square value, uh, R square value jo hoti hai, that uh, actually explains ki uh, how much variance in uh, your dependent variable is explained by independent variable okay so that value will be less but at the same time if my model is uh, uh, this uh, is not uh, uh, like uh, uh, is facing a problem of endogeneity then r square value to only will explain ki how much variance will be explained by independent variables and a dependent variable mein jitna change ho hai, wo kitna, usko independent variable explain kar pa rahe. So that is what we'll get from r square value but to check for endogeneity, although in smart PLS, you cannot do it. Okay. So, but if uh is to endogeneity ki problem bohi nahi, scale aapko kya karna chahiye ki if you are using the scale which is uh, which is an established scale, hai na, jo ki baad bar, uh, replicate hua hai, and uh, it's a standardized scale, like uh, you have so many skills available with you. Hai na? So us case may right selection of variables, yes. And how you will decide ki whether um, the, the variables uh, that you have selected in your model are correct one or not. So, if you are making your model, then you have to check all the tests. You have to check all the variety, check all the endogeneity. Ka bhi check karna and then you will say that yes, there is uh, there, um, uh, no such problem is there okay, in my case. But in case if you are um, uh, like using an established scale, the scale which is been replicated before by uh, so many people okay so if you are using it then you can say and that is an established scale jaise ki bahut se established scales hain happiness index hai ya emotional intelligence index ke scales hain ya fir hamara myers briggs indicator of personality hai okay so number of times these things are used they are established they are used to measure personality the myers briggs indicator of personality hai ki for uh, extrovert and introvert to ek established scale hai Uske jo hai wo bohat baar use ho chuka hai and uh, like the results were always uh, reliable. So people uh, are relying on the results and most like in as far as your Miles Briggs indicator of personality, so bohat se kampi usko use karti before hiring uh, people in their organization. So you can say that ki this is checked so many times and uh, agar usme koi cheez dependent ki tarah use ho raha hai particular scale mein or kisi or independent or as bohat baar use ho hai then there is no problem of endogeneity because it has already uh, checked uh, by so many researchers earlier but if you are designing your own scale and you are designing your own items in your scale then in that case you need to check for endogeneity so as far as smart PLS is concerned you cannot do it here you need to um, uh, like a, a, a Gaspian uh, Kapila, Gaussian Kapila karke hai. Uske through you can do endogeneity check but that you will do in R. Okay, so you, what you will do, you will copy your data from, uh, from uh, yes, Muhammad Nasser. You want to ask something? Okay, so uh, what you can do uh, in uh, this case, uh, if you want to check an endogeneity problem, what you can do is, uh, 
यू विल क्रिएट अ गॉसियन कैपुला कैपुला क्या होता है कि कितने नंबर ऑफ टाइम्स यू कैन हाउ मेनी कैपुलाज यू कैन क्रिएट लाइक हेयर सोशल फैक्टर का स्किल से वी कैन क्रिएट वन कैपुला एंड सोशल फैक्टर्स का कॉन्फिडेंस से सेकेंड कैपुला एंड कॉन्फिडेंस का स्किल से थर्ड कैपुला ओके सिमिलरली विद सेटिस्फेक्शन फोर्थ कैपुला सो हाउ मेनी कैपुलाज यू कैन क्रिएट एंड देन यू कैन रन एट हेयर uh in smart pls and then copy the data this uh, uh, bootstrapping karne ke baad the uh, latent variables that you will get these latent variables you can copy the latent variables and then you paste it in your r uh, which is an another software and then you can analyze ki whether the problem of endogeneity is there or not okay so this is how you can check for endogeneity and uh, uh, for linearity uh, we have already done ki how to check for linearity ki whether relationship linear or not so here linearity ka check you can do it here so one thing that i have done was for um, uh, linearity ke liye humne ye iske liye kar iske um, like two stage ke sath kar liya tha uh, but if uh, it basically depends on ki like uh, when we are doing a linearity check कि uh, क्योंकि इसमें वी हैव सीन बहुत लाइक थ्री मेथड्स आर देयर तो व्हिच मेथड टू यूज सो हियर वी हैव यूज्ड टू स्टेज मेथड इफ यू वांट टू यूज अनदर मेथड लाइक इफ यू वांट टू यूज ऑर्गेनाइजेशन मेथड तो यहां पे जैसे मैं इसको अगर डिलीट करके ये वाला डिलीट करके एंड इफ आई वांट टू चेक फॉर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन सो व्हाट आई विल डू आई विल ऐड अ क्वाड्रेटिक इफेक्ट उनके सेटिस्फैक्शन और कॉन्फिडेंस के साथ ऑर्थोगोनलाइजेशन ऑर्थोनोगोनलाइजेशन में व्हाट आई विल डू आई विल डू इट मतलब एक एक का अलग अलग करना पड़ेगा बिकॉज यहाँ पर हम ये कोशिश करते हैं कि जो और इंडिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल्स हैं उनका इफेक्ट जो है इस पर नहीं हो तो ऑर्थोनोगोनलाइजेशन का मेन पर्पज यही होता है प्योर ऑब्जेक्टिव इज की टू मिनिमाइज द इफेक्ट ऑफ अदर इंडिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल्स देन वी चूज ऑर्थोगोनलाइजेशन तो इसमें हमने इसको चूज किया ओके कॉर्डेटिक इफेक्ट एड किया then we will rename it as for confidence iska naam kar diya and then like the values in your acha boot shopping mein kar rakhi hai isme to purana wala values delete ho gaya hai first we will do we are doing a boot strap in order to establish a relationship between the models first and then we'll check for so this these all are significant we have done this earlier also these all are significant and isme agar aap chaho to what we have uh, we wanted um, uh, like the social factors ka confidence ke sath and confidence ka satisfaction ke sath humne dekha the skill ka confidence ke sath confidence ka satisfaction ke sath aap chaho to inka pe टोटल इफेक्ट भी अगर हमें चेक करना हो वी कैन डू दिस ऑल्सो वी कैन ऑल्सो सी दिस बात की वेदर स्किल का सेटिस्फैक्शन के साथ डायरेक्ट इफेक्ट कैसा है और सोशल फैक्टर का सेटिस्फैक्शन के साथ डायरेक्ट इफेक्ट कैसा है ओके वाया कॉन्फिडेंस वी कैन चेक एंड वी कैन ऑल्सो चेक डायरेक्ट इफेक्ट सो हेयर अगेन कैलकुलेट बूट स्ट्रैपिंग ओके एंड start calculation so you will see ki whether direct and indirect both effects are there or not total effect like mediation mein you should check for both direct and indirect effect so what we were doing was indirect effect so hum direct effect bhi check kar sakte hain okay so this model like this was created here we can see ki jo confidence ka satisfaction ke sath hai ya skill ka satisfaction ke sath hai uh, direct effect is not significant okay so it is uh, what we can say that ki complete mediation is there when direct effect is insignificant and indirect effect is significant 
तो हेयर वी कैन वी विल से दैट कि यहाँ पे हमारा कंप्लीट मीडिएशन हमने अचीव किया है पार्शियल मीडिएशन होता तो बोथ तो पार्शियल मीडिएशन में क्या हो जाता कि डायरेक्ट इफेक्ट इज सिग्निफिकेंट होता और इनडायरेक्ट इफेक्ट भी सिग्निफिकेंट होता ओके तो लाइक हेयर टोटल इनडायरेक्ट इफेक्ट इनडायरेक्ट इज इन है ना एंड टोटल इफेक्ट में देखो तो वी कैन सी हेयर कि जो भी हमारा इनडायरेक्ट इफेक्ट है दैट इज इन सिग्निफिकेंट और जो डायरेक्ट इफेक्ट है दैट इज सिग्निफिकेंट सो कंप्लीट मीडिएशन इज अचीव हेयर विच मीन्स दैट कि स्किल जो है वो कॉन्फिडेंस को ही इंक्रीज कर रहा है और कॉन्फिडेंस सेटिस्फैक्शन को इंक्रीज कर रहा है सिमिलरली सोशल सोशल फैक्टर्स जो है वो कॉन्फिडेंस बढ़ा रहे हैं कॉन्फिडेंस जो है सेटिस्फैक्शन बढ़ा रहा है डायरेक्ट रिलेशनशिप नहीं है स्किल का सेटिस्फैक्शन के साथ डायरेक्ट रिलेशनशिप नहीं है एंड सोशल फैक्टर्स का भी सेटिस्फैक्शन के साथ डायरेक्ट रिलेशनशिप इज नॉट अचीव ओके ओके सो व्हाट आई वाज डूइंग वाज ऑर्थोगनलाइजेशन एक लास्ट चीज मैं आपको बता दे रही हूँ विच इज टू चेक लीनियरिटी इफ यू वांट टू मिनिमाइज द इफेक्ट ऑफ अदर इंडिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल्स so uh, here satisfaction and we added confidence and orthogonalization okay quadratic effect p name confidence and then we will calculate okay again the same thing bootstrapping Five thousand bootstrap, and this is all okay. Start calculation. is calculating basically ki if we don't want other independent variables or we want to minimize the effect of other independent variables then we use this orthogonalization otherwise we go for two stage two stage mein hum ek sath sabka kar lete hain orthogonalization mein hum ek ek karke karte hain theek hai to yahan pe if we want to see the effect of uh, this one confidence jo hai ye iska jo hai effect is again it is insignificant which means quadratic effect is insignificant so my linear relationship is there okay the same thing is achieved here also uh this model so here we can see it is the value is less than 1.96 1.295 value hai okay. so linear relationship is there kyunki quadratic effect jo hai wo insignificant hai to quadratic effect ko insignificant hona chahiye kyunki quadratic effect ka matlab hua ki relationship is not linear So if we want to establish it, we can uh, uh, like we want insignificant values. So here the relationship is not significant because uh, the value is not significant. Similarly, for orthogonalization, we have to do one-one and 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 ओके okay. किसी को कोई क्वेश्चन है कोई प्रॉब्लम है ऑन द टॉपिक दैट आई हैव डिस्कस्ड यू कैन आस्क मैम जस्ट वांट टू क्लैरिफाई वन थिंग दैट बाय यूजिंग पीएलएस वी कैन बेसिकली यू नो यूज बोथ फॉर्मेटिव एंड रिफ्लेक्टिव कंस्ट्रक्शन Yes. Ah, huh. we can use both formatted and reflective construct. Although default mode पे जब जाओगे तो reflective construct ही होंगे. So if you think that the one of your construct is formative, then you need to change it first. ठीक है जैसे हमने change किया था. Yeah. Whereas in a MOS, we can only use reflective constructs, right? Default mode पे yes, there will be reflective construct. लेकिन अगर आपको लगता है कि आपका कोई formative है तो उसको पहले check कर लो. Redundancy analysis करके and then uh, with uh, 
जो पूरा वी आई एफ का चेक करना ना कि वेदर मल्टीपोलिटी इज देयर और नॉट वो चेक करके एंड इफ यू फाइंड कि यस आपने फॉर्मेटिव डालने के बाद भी योर मॉडल इज सिग्निफिकेंट एंड यू कैन से दैट कि वन ऑफ द कंस्ट्रक्ट वाज फॉर्मेटिव एंड अदर वाज रिफ्लेक्टिव एंड दिस इज माय मॉडल ओके ओके और किसी का कोई क्वेश्चन है सो बेसिकली दिस मुझे लगता है किसी का क्वेश्चन नहीं तो आई शुड आई थिंक एंड माई सेशन सो बेसिकली पी एल एस एम के बहुत लाइक इफ यू कंपेयर इट विद दिस वन कोवेरियंस बेस सेम पी एल एस एम जो और कोवेरियंस बेस सेम में बेसिकली पी एल एस एम में बहुत ही आपके कम वो होते हैं एजम्पन्स होते हैं तो इट्स ईजी टू अप्लाई पी एल एस एम को आप यू कैन इजली योर सैम्पल साइज इज स्मॉल देन ऑल्सो यू कैन अप्लाई पी एल एस एम I think I forgot to show you this one thing. The sample size, wala. The sample size, कितना होना चाहिए पहले से मैं. I'll just जल्दी से एक slide दिखा देती हूँ. कि sample size बहुत कम भी हो तब भी आप you can use PLS cell. Okay. So uh, this is suggested sample size in typical uh, marketing research or research में आप कर सकते हो कि how many um uh, latent uh, maximum of arrows pointing at a latent variable in a, in a model jaise ki hamare model mein yahan par uh, agar uh, isko confidence ko agar hum hata de to hamara 1 2 hai otherwise hamare 3 hai okay jo ki hum isko uh, this is my dependent variable to so, inko teen arrows agar hum kahe kisko ko kare to we have three एरोज पॉइंटिंग एट माई लेट एंड वेरिएबल तो थ्री में फिफ्टी नाइन अगर आपका मिनिमम सैम्पल साइज हो तो चलेगा ठीक है बट वी शुड नॉट ऑलवेज की मिनिमम सैम्पल साइज वी शुड ट्राई टू अचीव बिगर सैम्पल साइज लेकिन कम सैम्पल साइज में को भी पी एल एस एम जो है वो सपोर्ट करता है ठीक है सो इफ योर सैम्पल साइज इज स्मॉल यू कैन यूज पी एल एस एम और इवन नॉर्मल सी अगर इफ इट इज नॉट देर योर डेटा इज नॉट नॉर्मल देन ऑल्सो यू कैन यूज पी एल एस सेम सो दैट इज द एडवांटेज ऑफ using plsm okay i think that uh, dr shrivastav could you please conclude the session i think dr shrivastav is busy somewhere uh, thanks a lot ma'am for such a wonderful session and uh, hope hopefully we all have learned learned a lot and the video will be shared uh, so that you can practice with the data which is being provided by the ma'am so you will get more expertise mm -hmm. on the same if any if you have any any query regarding uh, this session you can uh, you know mail us and ma'am will definitely answer thanks a lot ma'am for your help and your kind gesture to you know coming on the, for, for on our request uh, it's lovely we'll meet again at 2:30 uh, take a, a lunch break thanks a lot for all thank you so much dr jamshed and thank you asad Uh, Dr. Asad Abdullah and all the participants. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, participants, you can uh, feel the feedback. Please don't forget to feel.